my father used to call me Grace, specifically because I was the opposite of graceful. I talked too fast, I moved too fast, and I oftentimes tripped and bumped in and muddled my words. Mind you, I still have some of these moments from time to time, but hopefully not enough to warrant that nickname anymore. Like so many of us, we can be mega multitaskers. From things like jobs which require that of us, like working in a call center where you have to be engaging with a customer and listening to them, talking with them while searching for information, finding solutions all at the same time, to less obvious scenarios such as when you're talking on speakerphone while driving, eating lunch while you're working, talking and walking, looking through your phone while you're trying to rest. Now there is no question about it, multitasking has its value. I do it myself to squeeze in more into my day. Some jobs require it. Parents definitely need it. It has immense value. But there is a point when multitasking becomes counterintuitive. It starts working against you instead of for you. And we've all had these moments, like when you're chopping up an onion and you accidentally throw that into the garbage instead of the frying pan. And you've done that because you're thinking of too many things in your mind while trying to do the chopping. Or perhaps when you only half hear the conversation you're supposed to be in because you're too busy glancing down and scrolling at your phone. And that can carry through to when you are supposed to be resting or winding down so you can get some rest. And instead of just doing that, you're checking your emails on your phone or responding to text messages or perhaps even talking. Or maybe it's when you missed your child's smile and wave goodbye as they hopped off to school, but you were too busy doing something else at that time. Those are all just examples of when multitasking works against you and not for you. But this is where mindfulness steps in. In really simple terms, mindfulness can almost be described as the opposite of multitasking. The simple act of mindfulness allows us the mental space for just mere moments to engage fully in whatever it is that we're doing and to experience it fully. And what's more, it takes mere milliseconds for you to engage mindfulness. Do you think that you could spare a portion of a second to engage more mindful behavior into your life so therefore you can experience more of life in its fullness? If you did, would your actions be less wasteful, like that binned onion? Would your friend feel more valued because you listened fully to them? Would your rest be better because you took the time to actually wind down? Would your heart warm over and your child feel more valued and loved because you took the split second it requires to be fully in the moment as they waved goodbye as they walked off to school? Now, how you answer those questions is the answer of whether or not mindfulness is effective and worth doing. But you might be thinking, how does this have a real world practicality? How do you engage this mindfulness? I mean, it's easy and all to say, just slow down. But how can you really pull that into life and really live it practically as opposed to just theoretically? Now, I think that's a great point because I believe that mindfulness has a partner in its effort and it's called meditation. Whoa, but hold on a minute. We can't go around our daily lives floating in a meditative state, now can we? That's right, we can't. However, we can merge the benefits of meditation with mindfulness. Now, not all consuming, overflowing, overwhelming meditation and mindfulness together, little bit by little bit. For those of you who have taken my Learn to Meditate in Minutes course, you will know that I believe one moment more of restful awareness is better than not having it at all. So when we put that together with mindfulness, little bit by little bit, we become more mindful, more present in the moment, more able to embrace life as it's meant to be. Then becoming mindful becomes more easy, more second nature, more graceful. And wow, 
Guess what happens when you live a life like that? It becomes more easy, more purposeful, more loving, more graceful. So yes, mindfulness is effective and it is worth doing. So no matter where you are in your journey, it's not too late to start practicing the simple steps of mindfulness meditation little bit by little bit in your day.